Hi, my name is Anika and welcome to the Home Automation X channel. We get a lot of questions in regards to if we can use one app to control our whole entire smart home. Well, today I'm going to be discussing the Smart Life app and how it can control your smart home. Before I get into this video, it is brought to you by Home Automation X, providing you smart home tech videos in a fun and cheerful way. Subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of all of our videos, which will also notify you when we go live during our live streams. If you go to amazon.com slash shop slash X, you can see products we do reviews on with the pricing all on one convenient page. Using this link also helps us out so we can purchase new products. Also, visit us on Patreon to see our videos weeks in advance before they go on YouTube, including all of our bloopers, and as a bonus, you will be automatically entered to win everything in our massive unboxing giveaways. I chose a Smart Life app because it's always improving with new updates, it's easy to use, and it works with your Google Home, your Amazon Echo, and your IFTTT. I will show you how to set up your device and how the app works with all of them. You will notice I have many smart plugs around me. I actually did a video on this and I will link the video at the end of this video and as well as in the description box down below. I highly recommend to watch it because not all these smart plugs work with the Smart Life app. In the first screen, you will see all the devices have set up. I will add more shortly to show you the process. When I swipe to the right, you will see all the rooms I created with the devices I added to each room. If I click on the three dots, I can add another room, which I'll call the kitchen. I can then add devices like lamp two to this room. This is how you install and set up a device. Plug it in and press the button for five seconds. Click the plus sign at the top corner. I'm installing a smart plug, so I'll get on electric outlet. I'll click confirm indicator rapidly blanks. You need to enter your Wi-Fi password and network password, then it will register your device. Remember to check out my smart plugs video because you get a comparison of all the different types of options and features that they have. And you might be interested in knowing that. So when it's finished, I could rename it to table lamp. I will go into the settings and add a schedule by choosing a time, which days I want it to repeat on, and then the switch will turn on at that time. I will save it then quickly, add another one to turn it off and on an hour later on the same days, and I could also set up a countdown timer if I want to turn it off. Finally, this plug has statistics where I can monitor the energy usage over the last several months. All right, so we're going to go ahead into the app and I'm going to go and click on living room and I'm going to click on tech and power strip right over here. So the tech and power strip, I can control through the app each switch individually. I can turn it off and on. I can also control the USB and turn that on and off as well. I can set schedules and timers. So let's see for switch one, I can set an individual schedule for, let's just say I want to turn it on for 12, 11 a.m., save that. And I can also do the same thing for the USB. It also gives you the option of turning all the power strips on and off at the same time. And I'm gonna go now into the family room and I'm gonna click on color bulb one. So I have my color bulb here, and as you can see, it's blue. I can change it to white mode. I can increase and decrease the brightness. I can also change the color. So I can change the intensity of that as well. And I can make it yellow, red, my favorite pink, <laughs> so now I'm going to go and click on the three dots on the top right. I can create a group here and I'm going to click on both color bulb one and two to create my group. Just going to rename my group here. Perfect. So now I'm in my group. I can turn both of the light bulbs on and off. So from here, I can also control how bright they are. And both of them can change colors from this group at the same time. 
you want to make sure your saturation and brightness is up the highest possible because that's what's usually going to show color and I can go ahead and set a schedule for these as well now before we leave this app I just want to show you one more fun thing that you can do here if I click on scene mode I can go ahead and click whatever type of scene and atmosphere I want and I can control my lights like that as well. Here's the beach vibes. I like that one a lot. And soft is very nice as well. At the bottom, you can create smart scenes. I'll click on add smart. You have two options to trigger on, either by a keystroke or by automation. So first I'll select scene and I will call it wake up. As I want to create something, when I go get up in the morning, I will select my smart devices starting with family room like groups and I'm not worried about the colors so I'll just switch them on. I will add some more and I will turn on my coffee maker. I also turn on my heater and finally my stereo. It will show you on my home page and I'll click save. So I'll show you an example of using an automation. I will call this one morning as I'll use it to get me ready. I can have it run when any or all the conditions are met. I will leave it on any and then I'll choose my condition. It might make sense to choose a schedule from Monday to Friday at a certain time, but I'll choose sunrise in this case. Then I'll select my actions. I'll turn on my heater so it's nice and warm and also my group lighting, I'll turn it on. The pot of coffee needs to be brewing, so it will be on. Finally, I'll turn on my stereo and then save it. Before I move on, I will quickly create another scene to turn off the lights, all the lights, as I touch one button here, which I'll call goodnight. Then I will add it to my lights. Give me a second while as I add my lights. This is a good way if you are in your bed already, you can press a button to turn it all off in your house or you can ask your Echo or Google Home to do it for you. I think that it's good and I'll save it. I'll go to home screen and you will see the two scenes set up. I can either tap on them to execute them or I can have your Echo or Google Home run them. Now to set this up with your Amazon Echo, it's easy. You open your Alexa app then click on skills. It's quicker if you enter smart life under search and you click on smart life, then you enable to use. Then you add your email address and password associated with your smart life account. Once you click on authorize, your account should be linked successfully. Now you can use your echo to control your devices and your groups in the smart life app. So you can do the same with the Google Home and you can also go ahead and just do the same thing as you click on settings and then assistant, you can click on home control and you will see a plus at the bottom here. You can scroll down, but it will be quicker if you search Smart Life app. You can click on Smart Life once you see it and then you must enter your email address and your password for your smart life account here okay so when it asks you you then click authorize and you are done so i want to ask you guys what you guys think about the smart life app is it important for you to be able to control all your devices off one app also if you want to check out all these various plugs that we have here we have our favorite plugs on our site it's amazon.com shop x Thank you so much for watching our video guys. If you yet have not watched the video on our plugs or any of our other videos, check them out here on the right. Also check us out on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and our website homeautomationx.com and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.